Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my channel, my name is Sanya and today I want to add something that I wanted to yesterday <laughs> and that is answer from one of the comments that was under the shorts that went something like you'll start calling them coincidences and start realizing how powerful you really are or something like that but basically that you're a creator of your own reality so obviously when I say this for people who have been giving away their, their power for people who have been told you are powerless or have given you examples especially when you're younger I always uh, when I see a person I always ask them if I can like in person how were you brought up how were you raised how did your parents um, how were they, they towards you how did they raise you obviously the years that we don't remember are the most crucial but it's the way you were brought up and what happened in those first four, seven years, but even it can be later on when you're a teenager, teenager, our brain develops till we're 25 years of age. So I think everything in that whole span, what happened to a certain person can, you know, it's basically who you are and what you've been taught, how you can do things and if you're capable of doing things and how were you treated everything basically everything develops you so underneath this video and i don't know i mean i am really happy if i were making videos like maybe 10 years ago i probably would have reacted to this in a completely different way but when i saw this i just you know when you see a, a comment and you're like oh my god i wish i can send you all the love i wish you could see this i wish you can have all the best i wish and I'm also glad I'm not like that. <laughs> I mean, you can use this maybe if you see a person that you don't like their behavior, you don't like how they speak to you. And if you would never do that, just say, I'm really, really grateful. I'm not like that. That's all, also one of the things that I guess don't lower my vibration and actually raises up. I don't know. Anyway, one of the comments was, I think this comment has been deleted now, not by me. Uh, I've what, seen the replies underneath and I don't see any swear words or anything. I mean, honestly, I've, I've said this to my friend. I don't mind if someone takes it all out on my channel because I honestly am not going to get offended because I know that is who someone's behavior tells and someone's words are describing them, not me. So I know if someone's going to let it all out if they need to, I mean... <laughs> I know there are some uh, creators, whether it's on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, that are getting offended and obviously it's a big issue now, but for me, if you need to let it out, I mean, my channel is perfect for it, but I think, so I don't think YouTube deleted this video, just because, again, I don't see swear words or anything, I mean, obviously there's attack on me, obviously there's uh, laughing at me, obviously there's all those uh, classical just typical behaviors of people that don't um, accept responsibility for their lives, people that are unhappy, not all of the people that are unhappy, obviously, but those are the type of comments that people, you know, re that's how they respond, whether they call it nonsense, whether they attack a person, whether they uh, make fun of what someone says, again, all typical. So one of the things was, and I really want to wanted to clarify to you that that's on the reason why um so they say i don't know if it's um the gender lol at some stage you'll start believing in reality because you don't yet understand how powerless you truly are and this is i think the gist of it again there were loads underneath when i asked what the reality is obviously they couldn't um clarify it so they started attacking then afterwards I replied back if this belief serves you by all means use it but if it doesn't serve you maybe you should change it and then it was making um fun of I mean obviously that's that part isn't necessary but I mean I wish you could see all of it because again you can see the person that that person is based on their comments person that believe they're powerless 
they are going to have reality that confirms that belief. Everything that you, be your beliefs create your reality. And this sentence, you need to repeat, you don't need to do anything. But the more you repeat it, I'm really hoping it's going to click your beliefs what you believe to be true, create your reality. You can change your beliefs. I have that video, I'll link it underneath. Because what is reality? It's what we create it to be. There are realities. What, this is where a lot of egos fire up because how do you dare say this to me? Like this comment, we are power, powerless. You're just talking nonsense. When you see the reality, you'll see how miserable it is. It's because your reflection, like Dr. George Spencer said, your personality creates your personal reality. Meaning, maybe so far, your reality, current reality, is your past beliefs, is your past vibrations. How you vibrate, it's what you get back. In all aspects, in all areas of your life, Yes, the egos are going to start firing up and they're going to say, no, I wouldn't create this for myself. I would never wish this on anyone. You think I'm choosing this on purpose. You're not deliberately creating your reality. There is a difference. You have reality of your past actions, of your past vibrations. And when you have, and when you were raised in a certain way, when you were showed especially as a child when you were learning about the world and especially parents or maybe school and on any surroundings were telling you that you were worth nothing that you were truly powerless that you were not deserving of anything that you have to suffer that you have to be miserable you start believing those things but believe is something you repeated yourself or someone else repeated to you especially when you were as a child enough times that now you start to believe that that is the truth. So when someone tells you you're powerful, you're not going to believe it because so many examples you have in your life when you are, look, this is my reality, I'm powerless, and you're just confirming it to yourself. Again, I'll change the, the link, uh, put the link in the description box on how to change your beliefs, uh, maybe emotional guidance scale, which is going to help you and how actually to to start creating your own reality. Again, just a little tip of the iceberg because there's so much to learn about all of this. So it's not enough just to say, I'll oh, stay positive because we know that is worth nothing. If you don't feel it, you can say I'll say positive all you want, nothing's going to happen. In fact, you can even make it worse. Because every time you say, oh, I'll just stay positive, and you don't feel it inside, you don't feel that that, that that sentence is making you feel good, but you don't actually believe in it, you're just that feeling, that feeling inside of you vibrates, and you're creating more of what you don't want. So that's part of I'll stay positive if you say it and you don't, feel that sentence in you, don't use it. Don't use it. Just what you should do is do things that make you feel good. What you should do is understand yourself. What you should do is accept parts of yourself that you think are not worthy, that you think are too dark, that you think are not deserving of any type of love. What you should do is healing. You have so many guided meditations on YouTube, how to heal how to forgive once you the, the forgiveness actually when you forgive for yourself or someone else is how the healing gets done you have guided meditations again you're not forgiving you're not accepting person's behavior you're forgiving because the past is the past past you can't change it now. What you can do is move forward. And as long as you think about the past and what was not serving you, and even if you think about your current reality, your current reality was created from the past. But now in this moment, you can create a better future for yourself. Again, links down below. At least for the beginning of that. And then you can go and build up on that knowledge. 
the more you learn and the more you know and the more you implement and the persistence you're at it and you never give up, those are the keys. So don't just, I don't know, some of you maybe watch The Secret and think that's it and then you started working on it and you said this doesn't work, you stopped, period. The Secret is such a small amount of information and if you don't go deeper into it, I mean, honestly, it's not going to serve most, most of you. What's, when I say what's serving you means, do you benefit from this? Are you feeling better from this? Are you creating the life that you love living in? If you have beliefs that don't serve you, such as this belief that we are powerless, you are going to create more of that. And until you change your belief to something that it's serving you, you're not going to go anywhere. You're going to be stuck and then you'll be wondering why you're stuck and then you're going to be blaming everyone else, even maybe yourself at times, but mostly someone else, why you're so miserable. And then you'll attack other person or make fun of other person that are not that miserable and that are actually happy because they remind you of what you don't have. But if you can't have happiness, that that means that other people can't have happiness or maybe they're being delusional because you know, if there is such thing and if we can have a lovely life, I mean, that person must be, you know, cuckoo in their heads or because look at the reality. Happy people, fulfilled people, joyous people, they'll, ne they'll take responsibility for their lives. They, they know they have the power. They'll take it away from, they, they've taken it already from people if they were giving it away. Every time you say, I'm like this and I have a miserable life because of that person and what someone did to me 10 years ago or two years ago, you're giving away your power. That means they're controlling you. Every time someone upsets you and you don't stop it straight away, let's say if you have these things bubbling up, if it starts, I mean, for instance, with this comment, it didn't start. I don't know even why I smiled, but I probably everything knowing that that's not how it is. I just wish everyone could realize this. Once you're happy, you don't blame other people because you know, I choose to be happy. I create my own happiness. I'm nowhere near being done. This is why even the first, first YouTube video I ever made, and it was my first actual video on any single um, platform, I said, this is my journey. I still have many beliefs to change, core beliefs. I still have so many things to develop on. I still have the power to be the best version of myself. And even when I'm best version, I know I'll be able to get better. I've done a lot of healing and that was, I think, my first goal. My, um, what other people think of me, I never had that. So when I have, maybe, I mean, not, not never, but that was, I think, the first, think I was able to have overcome um, it's the easiest for me at this moment at least so when you see, see those videos when they say uh, you can't do it do it seems you know so you can prove them wrong that never motivates me <laughs> ever because I'm like um, I don't care <laughs> I care about me but then I was an overthinker overanalyzing my I still love analyzing but then I change the focus on the bad stuff analyzing to the good stuff analyzing and why it, even if it's let's say bad stuff but what can I improve on so I'm not analyzing to feel bad I'm analyzing in terms of the strategy what can I do to change it now to be better um, the challenges that we don't share is the reason so we don't ask creators anyway so we don't want to create more of that. The more you speak about your problems, the more you speak about how miserable you are, the more you speak about, about any low vibration is you're going to get more of that. So I have a lot of, uh, you can, what I would suggest, if you speak about your problems, problems, I like to call them challenges, uh, talk to Talk about it to a person that is actually going to help you and give you advice. Whether it's psychiatrist, psychologist, or maybe someone else, it doesn't have to be that, you know. But when you speak about your challenges, just to speak about your challenges, you're creating more of that. 
And that's saying about who you are now, which does not mean you can't change that. Don't beat yourself up. No one taught you better, but now you can learn how to be better and implement that to be better. We can always improve. No one, have, no one has everything figured out. No one will ever have everything figure, figured out. And we're not here to get it all done. Because if we got it done, we would be gone from this physical world. So we are here to keep growing and getting better and never have it done. Just getting better and better. Expanding. That's all that is. So, to conclude this 16 almost minute video, you have the power. Learn how to. Listen to Abraham Hicks. Read Dr. Joe Dispenza's book. Listen to Marissa Peer. She's lovely. Listen to Teal Swan. See, learn from people that know better, that have better lives. Learn from people that have what you want. Don't listen to person that doesn't have money how to create more money learn from people that have money make your own way i did it my way <laughs> you create your own way but first and foremost believe in yourself believe that it's possible change the beliefs if they don't serve you raise your vibrational level to be able to align with those things you can do it if no one else believes in you, if no one else believes you can achieve your dreams and you think you need someone to believe in you, no one needs to believe in you. But if you need that one person, I believe in you. You can do it. You can create the reality where you're going to be happy, where you're going to be joyous, where you're going to love waking up to every single moment. You can. Yes, you can. I'm sending you all the high vibrations possible and all the love. See you next time. Mwah! Love you, beautiful souls. Bye.